We've officially hit that point in the year where I pull down the Christmas stuff and it leaves me and my house feeling bleh. But it doesn't have to be that way. I like to use Valentine's Day decor to add a pop of color and really get me through that post-holiday decor slump. It doesn't have to be expensive or take a ton of time to do that to your house. I'm going to show you today a ton of quick and easy DIY and decor ideas all for Valentine's Day that are going to brighten up your home. You're definitely going to want to steal these ideas. <music> Whiskey and Wet. My name is Whitney and a huge welcome back to my whiskey craft buddies who are here every week. I'm so thankful for you guys and if you want to join us there is room for everyone. You can click the big red subscribe button and join us for future DIYs. Also if you want to take it one step further I send out a new email every time I post a new video to notify you guys in case your YouTube notifications don't tell you so you can either scan this QR code or opt in via the link in the description. The next time you're walking down a Valentine's Day aisle whether that be Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, whatever, you're going to want to grab yourself one of these silicone candy molds. We're not going to be making candy, but we are going to be making some candy-like decor. Let me show you how fun this DIY is. The great thing about this technique is it's not just for hearts. You can use it in any silicone mold and you can find these for pretty much every season. I am going to take my glue gun and I'm going to fill up as many of the openings as I want for these hearts. I'm going to tap it onto my table and let it completely cool. You're going to know that it's cooled when it looks back like the glue stick instead of the clear hot glue. Then I am going to pop it out just like an ice cube and take an X-Acto knife and get rid of any wispies. Then I grabbed a wide variety of paint colors that look like conversation hearts and painted them. And then when they were dry, I took a red Sharpie and wrote a wide variety of different sayings on there. Hug me, miss you, XOXO, etc. Then you can display them on a tiered tray in a vignette or in just a little cup like I have here, and I can add it anywhere to my decor. Up next, we're doing a Dollar Tree DIY. You're gonna want some of these fabric gift bags and some heat transfer vinyl. Now, I have got a full pack of free files and printables for this video over on my blog, and that's gonna include all of the files that you're seeing here. You're going to measure, I ended up measuring three inches across to fit in my hearts, and I cut out Galentine Gang, this Love is in the Air, and an XOXO. The Love is in the Air is an SVG, so you can cut it in two different colors if you want. And then I just used my mini press on the medium setting to apply my heat transfer vinyl. You're going to want to check and see if you're hot or cold peel for your heat transfer vinyl. Follow that instruction, and then you can also add the additional color if you're doing a two-color bag. These would be so cute for classroom valentines or just for some friends popping a cute little gift card in there or a little thank you for teachers or secretaries, anybody you appreciate, just something fun and festive to gift. You're gonna grab some of your Christmas boxes and we're gonna make this really quick, easy, and super cute Valentine's Day cardboard garland. Cardboard is one of my favorite mediums to work with, especially lately, just because we have so much of it and it's free. It's already at my house. And so it saves it from a landfill, especially in areas that don't offer recycling. So I'm using that heart I got from Target just as a little tracer, but you could hand draw it. You could cut out something that you print out on your printer to cut out the hearts. And then the little rectangles I cut out, I just traced the outside in that same envelope motif with a white paint marker. These are my favorite from Amazon. I will link them down below. And then I also did the same thing, but with some little dashes, it just kind of switches it all up. Now we're gonna add some traditional red for Valentine's Day. So I am using some of these stickers from the Dollar Tree and you'll see me using these all video long. You get so many for $1.25, I love them. Just taking a regular hole punch, doing two punches on either side, and then taking some Dollar Tree jute twine to string them up. That's it, easy peasy. I hung it up here with two felt garlands I had. The pink and white one is actually an Easter garland, so that helped me save, and the red is from Christmas, so I didn't have to buy anything additional. Shot my house to really make the front entryway of our house super festive and welcoming without a ton of time or money. I had a fun idea for a fun take on the traditional book stack that you see a lot of people do. So at Dollar Tree, I grabbed four different books in all different sizes. So it would kind of look like a step up, but you could do whatever shape you want. And the first thing I needed to do was remove all of these book jackets. Now the first book was already pink, so I was gonna leave it as is because it went with my motif. The other ones, not so Valentine's, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that. So I decided to do my largest book in some craft paper. So this is just Dollar Tree craft paper. And I'm cutting a piece a little bit taller than the book's height. And I'm making sure I have enough to wrap around either sides of the cover. 
I'm going to fold the top and the bottom to give myself a nice seam and I just want to make sure then my craft paper is going to be the length of the spine of my book. Then I'm going to open it up, kind of figure out where it needs to be and if this takes you back to junior high or high school, I am there with you how we used to wrap our books before they had the fun little stretchy covers that kids put on now. And then I just took a little bit of masking tape to hook it onto either side and repeated that on the back cover. I also did a similar process with the smaller ones, but with fabric, just to add some texture and different color. This is scrap fabric I had from Walmart left over from last year, but you could easily use Dollar Tree fabric or even felt. And if you have an issue with your fabric wanting to stay because you can't fold it as easily as the paper, you can just go ahead and use some more masking tape to get it to stay where you need it to go. Then my last step was to add a little oomph to the spine of the craft paper one. So I measured it and cut out a decal that I created. And it just says The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman because I am big into learning about that. Enneagram and helping you understand kind of yourself and how you interact with people around you, especially those that you're in friendships with or relationships with. So I added this here. I'm applying it with the paper transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl that I love so I don't rip up that paper. And then this stack is good to go. I have it displayed here with a picture and this cute little cupcake from the Target Dollar Spot, but you could also do bookends like these. Both of these are from Dollar Tree. And what I love about this is you could reuse the books for different seasons. Now let me show you how to make those really fun Valentine branches. We recently cut a branch off a tree in our yard, so I took out my tin snips and I cut a bunch of pieces to the approximate size. And then when I got them inside into my pitcher, I cut them down even more just to kind of get the height and the look I was going for. Then I'm using some more of those felt stickers. I love these things, you guys. You're gonna see them in so many projects. And I doubled them up on the ends of each of the pieces using primarily the medium and small sizes that you get in that pack, but you could do whatever size you feel. I added them to a lot of the little offshoots just to kind of look like they were buds on the end and I really made sure to switch up the colors so there was a nice variety. Once everything was applied where I wanted it, I just wrapped the bottom of my sticks with some packing paper just to get them to stay more centralized and not kind of really lean over the side. And here is my final look. It kind of looks like cherry blossoms, which I really like. I love how this turned out. I honestly just took a picture that I was using for Christmas. I flipped it around the back, actually says the most wonderful time of the year. So it's a nice way to reuse that stuff. Craft Buddies know one of my absolute favorite ways to save when you're doing seasonal decor is with printables. I also love that you can customize them to your personality, to your style, and really just 100% make it your own. I created a ton of different files that you can download for free over on my blog. Just head to the link down in the description and you can hop over and get those files. This is just a sampling. There are over 30 files in a bunch of different sizes. All you have to do is print them out. This is just on a regular printer. I do recommend printing them on cardstock. You could do them in a variety of different sizes and either put them right in a frame or you can mount them to a sign like I did with that one. So, so many options and really quick, easy and affordable. Something else I have gotten into in the same vein as printables are these printable pennants. I did some for fall and Christmas and so many of you guys said you printed them out and used them. So I wanted to make some for Valentine's Day as well. All you have to do is print them out again on cardstock, cut them out, follow the lines. And then I'm just taking some bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree, trimming off the pointy end, adding some hot glue to the back and then kind of pushing the edge around. So it goes all the way around that bamboo skewer. And then you can add ribbon. I'm adding tool here and bada bang, bada boom. It's good to go. I love that these can be customized for gifts, for decor, a ton of different uses for these. I put them on a lot of gifts for Christmas and I've got a lot of different ones like these Galentine, Taylor Swift inspired ones. I've got some more traditional Valentine's Day, some more colorful ones. So be sure to check out all those free printables over on my blog if you want to check it out. I recently saw this technique on TikTok and I had to try it myself, but I wanted to do it on a flour sack towel instead of paper like they did. So I grabbed these Dollar Tree towels, I got all of the tags off of them, and I put some cardstock underneath the unfolded towel. Then I grabbed a paper towel roll, saved it from the recycling, and I decided to fold it up into a heart. So I'm using some Speedball ink here just because I already have it on hand. 
that I use for screen printing, but Dollar Tree does have 3D fabric paint that you could use and would work just as well. Spread it out on a paper plate and then take your heart shape and put it right in the center. Make sure it's fully coated, get off any excess, and then you're just going to start stamping. If you've ever done potato stamps or just regular stamping, it's the same idea. And you could go as nuts or as simple as you want here. I ended up doing hearts like this down either side, just carefully stamping, and I let it dry overnight per the instructions for the Speedball ink. You're going to want to follow what it says on the back of any ink that you use, whether it be puffy paint or whatnot. Then I'm just setting it at 320 degrees for 60 seconds down my tea towel, and I also used my Cricut press to get rid of some of those big set-in wrinkles. Then I folded it how I was going to use it. And then it was time to display, so I just hung it over this DIY little towel ladder that I created at Christmas. I will link the DIY if you're interested. Now a little behind the scenes for staging, some of my favorite places to get the little trinkets that you see in all these vignettes is Hobby Lobby. But I grabbed this little pitcher and some Dollar Tree straws just to give it some color there. So easy. This has to be one of my most favorite Valentine's Day DIYs I have ever made, and it starts with a Dollar Tree wood round. Now, if you can't find yours at Dollar Tree, you can look at any other craft store. They have them all around. I just like the price at Dollar Tree. You can't beat it if you can find them. I stained mine in dark walnut stain, and then I started by measuring the circle. Now, I created this Backstreet Boys file, and if you're interested on how to go into design space, size it, and also get the offset, I will link the video where I will walk you through step-by-step -step slow motion. Then I cut everything out, and if you are worried about it cutting on the little intricate pieces and having it pull up, cut it on either the washi or iron-on setting, and that will help. You're going to want to be careful when you're weeding just because of all of the details and if you lose some of them then it might look like a different person than the person you're going for in the Backstreet Boys. So just be careful. Take your time. But once you get it all weeded out, it's time to apply. I went ahead and marked so I knew exactly where my paint needed to go and I did the paint after I cut it so then that way the color would be underneath the Backstreet Boys. I painted it pink in between my two pieces of masking tape, let it dry, peeled those off, and then I applied all of my pieces with some paper transfer tape. Now, like I said, I've got this tutorial much slower in another video that I will link down below and up in the iCards, as well as a ton of other Valentine's Day projects that aren't in this video that I've made in years past. So if you are looking for Valentine's Day inspo, you will not be wanting after you check out that playlist. I've got so many ideas for you. Crafting in general brings me joy, but this project brought me so much joy. I absolutely love the Backstreet Boys. It was fun to figure out how to create this file, and I'm so happy to share it with you. If you also like this Hello Valentine style, so if you want a wood door hanger but you don't want to do Backstreet Boys, don't worry, this is also a free cut file over in the folder and the same video that will break down the Backstreet Boys process will also show you how to make this one as well. I get questions all the time. Whitney, I found some cute containers for the holiday, but what do you do with them? I have this cute little gumball machine. You can use whatever you have. And I have them full of these cute, cute, cute little Valentines. This is another technique that once you know how to do it, it can definitely stretch across so many projects. So for the small ones, I use these paint stir sticks. Sometimes you can even get them free from the hardware store, but I ended up just buying these for a dollar for 10 at my hardware store. I'm gonna take my miter box and I'm gonna cut three inch pieces using the ruler on the back of the paint stir stick. I'm gonna sand them down and then I painted them white, pink, and red, but you could paint whatever color you want and then take a marker and draw an envelope around the outside. Then we're gonna go back to those handy dandy felt stickers. I promise today's video is not sponsored by the Dollar Tree felt Valentine's Day stickers, but I do really love them. Then last year I found this adorable popcorn container. Usually the Dollar Spot has things like this. You can find gumball machines like this. You might already have a container or a vase you wanna use, and I just put them in there. I also created some larger ones with some scrap wood. Same thing. This is a one by three. Cut it down, sand it, paint it, do the little lines, and then you can add the stickers to the center. You could even go as large as using a wood canvas like this one. This was one that I had painted for a Christmas project, decided that I didn't want to do it anymore. Went through with a paint marker, and it is a nice large envelope with love letters that I can use in staging or setups. You guys know I am the 
number one fan of screen printing over here, but I wanted to share another technique I recently tried and I am in love with. I grabbed this red Gildan shirt from Dollar Tree and some of this puff vinyl that I recently got from Expressions Vinyl. And it's something that you can cut. You're gonna cut just like iron-on. You just wanna make sure you know which side is the white, but then we're gonna cut it just like iron-on and apply it similarly, but at 280 for 15 seconds, you only wanna press it once. And I'm doing a four inch wide little XOXO that will be a file over on my blog. Once you press it, the carrier sheet will pop off and it like puffs up. That's why it's called EV Puff Vinyl. I love this. It's some fun texture and you want to make sure you let it sit for 24 hours before you wash it. But this thing is so cute. It's a nice, fun, understated Valentine's Day t-shirt. The t-shirt is super comfy and you would never guess that I got it for a $1.25 plus a little scrap piece of that puff vinyl. So if you're interested in that, I will link the puff vinyl down below, but you could also do this with a screen print or a regular heat transfer vinyl. And I also made this sweatshirt that I got off Amazon with a similar file and the puff vinyl. So I am definitely gonna be using more of that. So for those of you looking at me and saying, Whitney, I don't even have time for those quick DIYs this year, no worries. Here are some decorating tips and tricks that you can use. And seriously, these can be done in under 30 seconds. Some of these items you might not have even packed away from Christmas yet. So I'm gonna show you how to get some more bang for your buck. The first thing we're gonna tackle is this bench in my entryway. And I really love this throw that I found in the Target dollar spot. It is a rainbow essentially, but what I love is I can use the one side with the pinks and the reds for Valentine's Day and I can flip it around and use the blues, greens, and yellows for Easter. So I'm going to put out the Valentine's Day colors and then I'm just going to fill it out with some pillows also from the Target dollar spot. That is a great way to spend $10, $15, even $20, nothing too crazy, and you can create just a cozy little corner. The other thing I like to do is replace my rugs. This is actually a Christmas rug, but you can usually find these on clearance or they sell some for Valentine's Day. I just put that down and then for it to actually scream Valentine's, I got this $1.25 rug from Dollar Tree. I plop it right on top and you've got this welcome cheery area welcoming folks into our house that was not expensive at all, but super festive. We have this big chair in our front room that Finn likes to sit in and read, but I wanted to create a little Valentine's Day magic. So the first thing I did was grab this red blanket from my Christmas stash, so I shopped my house. We're just gonna drape it across and make the bottom a little bit wider so it kind of looks effortless, but it looks kind of lived in and cozy. Next thing I'm grabbing is this red pillow, again from my Christmas stash. And I'm going to make it look Valentine's by using these felt stickers. You get 100 from Dollar Tree. I'm using the pink and white just because they show up the best on this pillow. Then I'm just sticking the different sizes on there to create a look that I want. I also grabbed this spring pillow from my basement and I added the red stickers to the back. So these are going to be perfect for now. I can just peel the felt pieces off and I was able to do both of these for well under $1.25 because I have a ton of pieces left. In our dining room, I have these command strips I leave up all the time, and I used an Easter garland to create kind of the pink backdrop to put my DIY cardboard garland that we made earlier in the video. Then to fill out the table, I added a little bit of table scatter to this doble I got from Walmart. It was under $15, and it's great to switch out seasonal greenery or items, and it fits this table really well. I started with a mixture of black and red gingham. Then I got these from Hobby Lobby, but I ended up taking out the black because I liked just the red. You just want to make sure your hearts are facing the right direction. And I added another garland and it's good to go. I always grab red and white garlands after Christmas for clearance because they work so well for Valentine's Day. These are just some picks I've had for years from Hobby Lobby. They go in my greenery and they also help add to the festiveness. And then I finished it off with this cute little Valentine's Day activity printable. I have a ton of these boxes around my house. I love to make them with scrap wood. And if you wanna make your own, I will link that tutorial down in the description. I started by filling out the bottom with a pink garland and then this heart garland with red went on top. Then I'm gonna add some cute little tiered tray elements. You can get these for a couple bucks really anywhere. These came from Target. And then I'm adding my little wood valentines to help fill out the box. I love the special delivery vibes here with the Valentine's Day, especially because my son loves UPS trucks and mail trucks and all of the things. You can reuse the box. I actually took all my Christmas stuff out and decided to put this in it, and it just adds a really fun pop of color you can throw it together in five minutes. If you wanna do a small area in your kitchen, a little tea towel ladder like this is great. I made this one, but you could also buy them very inexpensively at any decor store. 
Then to add some color, I grabbed a Dollar Tree vase as well as a little stemless champagne flute and some conversation hearts. I put my champagne flute in the middle of the vase to make it so I didn't have to have as many conversation hearts and I just filled up around the outside as needed. If you're still with me, Craft Buddy, head down to the comments and leave a heart emoji. It doesn't matter the color or the style. That just lets me know that you're sticking with me. Once I got to the top, I added some greenery and then I grabbed this cute little candy dispenser that I found at Dollar Tree, filled it up with some mini M&Ms and this adds just a little bit more color and who doesn't love candy for Valentine's Day? My last step was to shop my house again for this wood bowl and I added these Dollar Tree little candies into the mix. I also like when I'm doing something like this to add a couple extra to the side of the bowl to kind of make it look like it overflowed and it is just full of all of the fun goodies. You could easily just do a simple setup like this and your whole house will feel like you decorated for Valentine's Day. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to make yourself nuts. I always love to share with you guys what I pick up for Finn for his little baskets just because I like to keep it affordable but I also like to have the seasons be magical when they change. So the things I grabbed for him include these loads of love PJs from Old Navy. I grabbed some fun straws from Dollar Tree and heart shapes because he's loving using these right now. I also found some really cute plushies at Dollar Tree. He loves helping me make my coffee in the morning, stirring up everything and also peanut butter and jelly. I grabbed him a couple of his favorite books and it was time to pack it up. Now this is another thing I shot my house for just because I didn't want to add more clutter. So this is a basket we already had. I put a little bag in the bottom to give it a little oomph, added the books, the straws, the PJs, and I added a little bit of tool in the back for color, added all of my little plushy friends. I also included this cute little mail truck from Hobby Lobby. It lights up and he's going to get such a kick out of putting that in his room. Then to give it a little bit more color, this is clearance ribbon that I just found after Christmas and it is ready to go. I can't wait to give it to him on February 1st. As I mentioned before, I've got a ton more Valentine's Day projects on my Valentine's Day playlist, so be sure to check that out if you're looking for more options. I have way too many to fit in just one video. That's gonna wrap up this video. Be sure to head down in the comments and let me know what your favorite Valentine's Day project was that helps me inform future content for upcoming holidays and just videos in general. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being back here for another year of DIY fun and I can't wait to see you in the next one.